Hi guys, you're back for another episode of Spider Monkey Eats. Today we're going to make some paleo banana bread. What makes them paleo is they are going to be made with almond flour instead of white flour. So a little bit healthier for you. So I have a few things already together. Some of our ingredients, I already have the almond flour together with some cinnamon, baking powder, or excuse me, baking soda, um, and a little bit of salt. Okay, there is a lot of cinnamon, so it's gonna give it a nice golden dark color. And then in this bowl, I already have three mashed bananas. I have honey and vanilla. Okay, so we're just gonna add in some of our eggs. We'll get this all going together. Already smells really good because the bananas are going to sweeten it naturally. Okay, so there's just honey, just vanilla, some very ripe bananas. We'll add in these eggs. Three eggs whisked pretty well, but they're gonna get all mixed in here. So that's nice and smooth. Good. And we are also going to whisk together our dry ingredients and then combine these. So we wanna make sure there's no chunks in that almond flour. You can sift it if you want to. But we can also just get out any of those big guys. Mix this together. So this is gonna be naturally sweetened. So we have that banana, we have that honey, no extra sugar going in here. You have a tiny little bit of salt um, just to balance out your flavors. And we are gonna to top it with some chopped walnuts. Um, you don't have to, that's just uh, something that I would like to add on to it because we'll give it a little, little different texture on the top and just accent the banana flavor really well. All right, so we have our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients mixed together nicely. Okay, we're gonna slowly put a little bit of our wet into our dry, start combining that. If you wanted to, you could mix in some walnuts into the batter. Wouldn't hurt. Definitely wouldn't hurt. The rest of our wet going in here. Bring this all together. I have my oven preheated to 350. We're gonna put this in a parchment paper lined baking sheet. I did rub some melted coconut oil on it just to make sure it does not stick. You can just use a spray, um, coconut oil, avocado oil, whatever you would like. Those are just a little bit more natural and healthier and mild, so they're not gonna bring any sort of savory flavor into it. Oh, this already smells great. The cinnamon, banana, can't wait till this is baked. This is gonna go in the oven, again, 350 for about 40 minutes, we're gonna check it. It could need up to 50 minutes, so 40 to 50 minutes. Okay, so look at this. All came together. Looks good, smells good already. Yeah. All right, so get off that little bit extra. Okay. And I'm gonna have my pan here. Okay, be a nice banana bread. Once this is cooked, we do have to let it sit for a while though. But it should have a nice golden color because of the amount of cinnamon that's in here. There's actually a whole tablespoon of cinnamon. Do not have to put that much, but it's going to give it a really nice golden color and really good flavor all throughout. And then again, we'll just top it. I have a quarter cup of walnuts. Top it with that. Spread this a little bit, give it a little knock, just to make sure it's nice and even. Check that out. And then let's add just a little bit on the top. Sprinkle of those walnuts. Mm. 
This is gonna be good. All right, so we're gonna go in the oven. Again, we're gonna start with 40 minutes. We'll check it with a toothpick, make sure um, there's no moisture on it. May need more time probably. These is between 40 to 50 minutes at 350, and then we'll check it out. All right, guys, check this out. Final product, 40 minutes at 350. So I wasn't sure if it would need a little bit more time, a little bit less, everybody's oven's a little bit different, but 40 minutes was perfect, okay? We took it out, we let it cool for two hours, okay? So unfortunately you're not gonna be able to touch it because you don't want it to fall apart. Now we're gonna cut into it and we'll definitely try this out. So this is a serrated knife, so that'll be a nice clean cut. Oh, look at that, oh my God. Wow, that looks fabulous. All right. This definitely impressed. We'll, we'll have to see if the taste matches up. Check that out, guys. Cute little banana bread, walnuts on top. Doesn't get much better than that. Mm. Check that out. We will give it a try. Let's break off a piece. with the walnuts. Mm. Super moist, really soft, definitely needed that sitting for the two hours. Kept everything in. 40 minutes, like I said, was perfect. This is really good. You guys see, it's very spongy. Oh, very good. And that banana, so super healthy. And we use almond flour instead of white flour. Uh, the cinnamon is what gave it that dark caramel color, so really good, light, easy snack, good for breakfast, um, you know, whatever you guys want to do. Easy to take out of the house with you, you can wrap it up. So there's a lot of ways where you can make eating healthy easier for you. So something like this, really simple, if you want to bring it to work with you, okay, good breakfast, really easy to do. If you guys have any questions, just leave me a comment. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up so I know. If you never want to miss an episode of Spider Monkey East, definitely subscribe to our channel, Ultimate MMA Plus.